This is a wild moth that just landed on me. He's after this artificial sex pheromone. Dude, I'm not a girl, sorry. Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Today, I'm going to be using myself as a sex pheromone for moths. That's right. I've got these artificial pheromones for the Eastern Buck Moth. I'm in Boca Raton um, at, a, at a little park that literally the I-95 is right there. And um, I'm gonna put these, pin these things on my chest, at my GoPro. We're gonna see if we can get some cool video of male buck moths looking for girls. I think they're out, guys. It's mid-January. Let's let's check it out. All right, folks. So this is a pheromone that is at least five years old. And I don't know how much life they have in them, guys, but these little plastic things here, these little orange plastic things, have been doused in a chemical that has been matched to the sex pheromone that female buck moths emit. And it's been doused in it. It's, they're put in these plastic, um, aluminum, you know, sealable packages. And I, I don't even know where to get this. This was given to me like five years ago, but I've been using it each year and I find buck moths each year, but I, I wanna see if it still attracts them guys. So I actually pinned one to my shirt right above my GoPro. I've got another one here, but we're just gonna walk along this trail and see how long it takes for a buck moth to come and we'll see i mean maybe maybe they'll come maybe they won't but this is the time of year they fly in the winter time and um they emerge in the winter time and what they'll do is they'll they'll emerge they don't feed as adults so they don't go to flowers or anything like that but they'll emerge they the females emit their pheromone even before they fly most of the time the males come they mate and then the female lays eggs and then they die and and that's it and they lay eggs on these little scrub oak trees. So what we're, gonna, we're also gonna do is we're gonna look for eggs. So these little scrub oaks, they're, it's a smaller oak. It's, it kind of looks like a live oak, but they're shorter, they're stockier, they're, they're, they're real thick and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an oak species, it's a corcus species, but that's where they're gonna lay eggs. We're gonna look for eggs, because I'll bet we'll find some of those as well. Um, but guys, let's see if we can check this out. Oh, so the, uh, the oaks, have all last le last year's leaves and that's actually when they lay eggs they lay eggs on the stems of the oak before they put out their new growth for the year and then they hatch the, the eggs hatch in simultaneously with the emergence of the new growth on the leaf so we're gonna we're gonna check that out guys we're gonna look for eggs but let's see if we can get some moths attracted to my pheromone let's see what happens Okay guys, we're just gonna walk down this path. And the sides of the uh, sides of these paths are just covered with oak. This is all buck moth host plant. And uh, you know, this is the right place, guys. This is the right place for these things. There's live oak and scrub oak in the same place. Um, and I think they'll eat both species of oak. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? No, thank you. I appreciate that. No heart attacks this early. Um, I believe they eat both species of oak, but they prefer the scrub oak. So we're going to check out some of the oaks and see if we can find some eggs of the moths. So this would be a perfect place to find buck moth eggs like they would just be they wrap the eggs around the stem see if we can find them oh, guys check it out I got one look at this that's a good sign y'all here watch this I'm going to show you what's up right here See that, guys? I'm just gonna snap this off so I can show you what is up. Guys, this right here is a cluster of buck moth eggs. And see how it's right on the tip of this stem and they wrap the eggs around the stem. So that's pretty cool. Just 
I just found it right here, right in this oak tree. And these will hatch. See, this, this tree here, all of these leaves are last year's leaves, right? And it's winter, so these leaves are starting to fall off. And they will really fall off when the new leaves push out. And so when the new leaves start coming in, these guys push, these lights fall off, and then these eggs will hatch. But actually, I'm gonna take a cluster of eggs home and so that we can raise these guys together. And I'll show you the entire life cycle of the Eastern Buck Moth, Hemaluca Maya. All right, guys, here we go. Here he is. He's hunting. Look at him. Look at him. See him, guys? Check him out. He's searching. He's searching. No, where are you going? Where are you going? He just flew, guys. He just, just flew that way. <sighs> this is frustrating. I'll bet the potency of this stuff has worn off. I'll, I'll bet. But I'll also bet that if we wait here long enough, we're going to get more gentlemen callers. <laughs> Dang. It's, it's funny. It's like, you now I'll sit here and wait. But it seemed like As soon as I, as soon as I think they're not coming and kind of turn my attention, and start watching a YouTube video or something like that, all of a sudden they pop up. Um, I just had two of them come right there. By the time I got my camera on, uh, one of them had flown away. As you saw, that one had a little bit of interest. I'm hoping to get some to really commit and come and flirt with me. Um, we'll see how that works. <laughs> and so, uh, we're going to stay here and see if we can attract more. No, he just, he, he left. He wasn't interested. Maybe I didn't shower or something. Maybe put cologne on or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, look. Where are you go? Oh, come on. He just came right in. Oh, there he goes, 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 there he goes. Come on. Look at him. He's looking for her. Come on. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something. On the oak tree, this particular oak tree has all these air plants on it. And these air plants are um, um, epiphytes, which means they live on sort of an oak host. And the oak tree, the, the roots just kind of wrap around the oak stems. And it's actually in a pineapple family from my, what I understand. But look at the flowers, guys. Look at the flowers on this. This little, this little purple flower comes out of this red stalk. And they've, they've got several flower stalks here. And look at the little flower. Isn't that cool? So I, I just thought that's a really neat one. It's nice, nice and low to the ground, which is they don't tend to be low to the ground very often. But that one is. And I figured I would show you a cool uh, epiphyte air plant <laughs> flower. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, here comes the buck moths. I've got the pheromones on my chest. That sure didn't take long. Check it out, guys. He's looking for the girl. So I've got the pheromones right here on my chest. All right, guys, so almost as soon as I started filming, we had three buck moths um, flying up and down the trail, and one circled me for a couple seconds, 
The other one kind of floated around to the to the side here. Another one floated by, um, but they didn't seem to be drawn too intently to the pheromone. But I think they 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 smelled it. They were attracted initially, but they, they didn't really seem too interested. So um, now it's funny because I saw three within a few minutes, and then they left. They didn't come close, too close, and um, and now it's been about. 10, 15 minutes. I haven't seen another one. So we're just going to continue to mosey around and see if we can find more. I'm going to see what else, what else I can find in this little park in the middle of the city of Boca Raton, see if I can find anything else to show you guys. So, um, but at, le at least we saw them, at least we saw them and we're going to see if we can show you more buck moths. Hopefully we get more, more to come. All right. I'm still looking for eggs guys. Um, I'm on another uh, scrub oak here, and I'm trying to find some clusters of eggs because a lot of times they're pretty easy to find. And so, I'm trying to oh, there we go. Look, 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 looky, 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 looky here. All right, focus. Oh, okay. Well, these guys are from last year. But you see how easy it was to find that. They've already hatched. They, those are from last year. And um, but that's what you're looking for. They're pretty easy to find. So, gosh. All right. Well, we know they're on the wing. We know they're laying eggs. And we know they're here. Um, really, I, I was trying to hope to get some... In fact, hold on a second. So... I'm just walking along. He's not flying. He's just chilling. There's a buck moth right there, y'all. And I'm, my camera phone is two inches from him. And he's not phased at all. So, and he's also not, it's a male, and he's not phased at all by my pheromone, which I'm wearing, which is like right here. And he's not phased at all. So that's cool. That's uh, at least I get to show you an up close, some up close images of a buck moth. Let me turn my flash on. Let's see. Oh, it's so cool, man. Right on, dude. Sitting right on this palmetto leaf, right by the path here. Let's see if I can show you some up close images. We know it's a male because of that big fuzzy antenna there. It's a very fresh specimen, so he's probably just emerged and just, I don't know. He's just chilling in the morning. Oh, so he's very un, unfazed that I'm here videoing him. And uh, I'm just very grateful that I get the opportunity to see one really up close and get you guys some good footage. So, guys, this is awesome. Buck moths are out. I want to see if I can get one in Broward County. That would be the next step. This is Palm Beach County. All right, guys, I'm just walking along, and I'm seeing them now resting. Here's another one. It's another buck moth. And this one's a little darker wing pattern, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the second one I've just seen just sitting on a tree about 10 feet from each other. So they're starting to emerge. He's really fresh, which is this really cool. But it's 9.30 in the morning. And what I'm guessing is they probably come out a little bit later because th these guys are just chilling. I mean, there's no, there's no thought from this specimen right here to get up and move he's very chill and um, that's pretty interesting so maybe afternoon is a better time to use the pheromone maybe they become more active in the afternoons with the sexual pheromones who knows but um, maybe we'll give that a shot in an afternoon one day this week if I can get back down here um, that's cool though this is the second one I've seen just sitting and right like within 10 feet of each other There we 
comes. He's looking hard. Look at that. Heck yeah. What's up, little buddy? He's looking for the pheromone. Look at him. Dude, he's vibrating all over me. <laughs> he's vibrating all over me. Dude, he's crazy. All right, this is what I was hoping would happen, guys. All right, guys, that's that's cool. That's what we were after. Um, I was after some footage where a moth would come and land right on me, and I'd be able to get some cool video of that. I'll have to check the GoPro footage and see how that turned out. Um, I'm sure I got some of it, but he, like he landed up here above the GoPro, so I'm not sure how much footage actually got recorded from the GoPro, but... Dude, they're, they're, they're still flying around. So they're becoming more active. It's it's getting closer to 10 a.m. It's getting a little warmer. It's probably 74, 75 degrees. It's actually becoming a little uncomfortable with this sweater jacket thing that I have on. Uh, and so I'm probably going to take that off. But I got the footage I was after, guys, and uh, I'm stoked. So uh, kudos to me. All right, guys, so we know that buck moths are on the wing. We know they're in this park now. This is a, I've never seen them in this particular park, um, and I'm just trying to find them in as many different places as I can. I now know four colonies of Hemaluca Maya in Palm Beach County or in Boca Raton. Um, and so that's cool. That's, you know, as, as long as there's a little bit of this scrub oak habitat, it seems like the buck moth population can sustain itself. And they only have one generation a year, so uh, they they, just, they 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 emerge, they mate, they lay eggs. It's a train. YouTubing in South Florida is not. YouTubing in South Florida. All right. Um, <laughs> there's always there's always noise pollution. Um, yeah. So it, it's obvious that they have. It's very easy for them to sustain, sustain them a population in a local area uh, this is not a large park guys this is just a little tiny park off of Camino Real Boulevard in Boca Raton in the middle of the city there's just little little jogging trail that goes through a little stand of uh, scrub oak and um, it's just enough it's enough to have a colony of buck moths here so guys hope you liked the video we're gonna go try and find a colony in Broward County um, still have never confirmed more noise pollution from a plane <laughs> this is South Florida. Um, still have never confirmed the population of buck moths in Broward County, so I'm going to go do that in another video. But guys, we were able to get video evidence of buck moths um, for 2024. So hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, got plenty more action coming your way. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you soon. Let's get out there, enjoy South Florida, find some cool moths, even if you have to become bait. <laughs> do anything for moths. Take care, guys.